Hi you guys, welcome to my Pampered Kitchen. I want to share with you a little bit about our Pampered Chef Pineapple Wedger. Now let me tell you about this. I, I've done a couple videos on this before because I find that this is one of the most misunderstood products. I mean there really is a technique to uh, getting perfect pineapple wedges. And I'm going to show you how this morning. So you've done the most difficult thing. You've picked out your pineapple um, at the grocery store. Mine's, well, you'll see mine's starting to get a little bit brown on the edges. But uh, when you picked it out at the grocery store, it was green and beautiful. Chances are your color of your pineapple was green. And then you brought it home. Okay, and then you're going, now what? Well, in a perfect world, you're going to let this pineapple sit and hang out on your counter for... A few days and I'll tell you why so the longer your pineapple sits and hangs out it starts to develop this beautiful gold color which means your pineapple is getting really sweet okay so um, the other thing you want to check when you're at the grocery store I always flip it over and check to make sure there's no mold growing under there that's one of the sure ways that you're going to get um, a spoiled pineapple really fast. Okay, so make sure there's no fuzzy moldy stuff growing on there. And I take it home and I wash it, of course. Okay, so we've chosen our pineapple, we've let it sit and hang out, and it's finally the day to eat it. So we're going to get um, <clears throat> our large chef's knife here. And we're just going to lay it down. You'll notice I'm working on the cutting board with the grooves so that it's going to catch any rogue juice coming out of your pineapple. Okay, and I'm going to cut it right here at the shoulder where it starts to uh, bend and dip. So we're just going to get rid of that piece. Okay. Now you could go back and scrape out any extra meat if you want to maybe put it in smoothie or... Um, Gosh, whatever you're using your pineapple for. Okay, we're going to do the same thing at the other end. We're going to find where it starts to dip, and we're just going to cut that off. Again, if you want to go back and uh, scrape out any leftover bits, I just want to show you a little comparison here. The two yellows. So the bottom is darker yellow than the top, and the reason for that is that when the pineapple was um, sitting on your countertop all the sugars are actually going to the bottom so this part is going to be much sweeter than this part of the pineapple so the, another trick they say is to actually flip your pineapple over about half an hour or so um, before you're going to cut it because all the juices will start to um, spread out evenly Alright, so we're going to take our pineapple wedger and we're going to line up the core. Okay, we're going to find the center of the pineapple, line it up. Okay. And then we're going to start rocking. Okay, you want to kind of come from above. If you are not blessed with height, you might want to put it down on maybe your kitchen table so that you can actually get a good rocking motion going. Okay. Rock back and forth. I was all the while kind of pressing down. Okay. So it's only going to let you go so far. It's just going to stop. And then you're kind of left in limbo here with an almost cut pineapple. That's where this fella comes in. Okay. So now you're going to lay down your tray. You're going to line up um, these edges with these edges. And then you're just going to put your all your weight on it and push. Okay, and that's going to complete your cut. Now you have perfectly peeled, cored, and sliced your pineapple. Look at that. This looks so juicy. I'm going to actually go back and use my core more and scrape some of this off to put in my water. Okay, and there you have it. Same with that uh, core. That core will be awesome in my water. You can cut that in half, freeze it. So that'll make a great ice cube stick. All right, another little trick I do, I take my apple wedger. How many of you have this little apple wedger? 
So, apple wedger. I'm going to line up my cut with one of the cuts of the apple wedger. And same deal, I'm just going to start rocking. So now we have perfectly cored, cut, sliced, and now cubed our pineapple. So guys, I love these for barbecue season. I just stick a skewer right through them and you can grill these very quickly and easily. Or they're perfect for uh, putting in your lunchbox, in the, these nice sticks. Or you could come back in and chop them up for whatever you're going to be doing with them and I bet you that's the most sweetest pineapple ever mm, so good that's amazing pineapple fresh pineapple there's nothing like it I hope you enjoyed this video if you enjoyed uh, learning about our pineapple wedger give me a thumbs up let me know if you have it in the comments below take care friends bye